what's happening y'all welcome on back um early looks are good the uh weird ass shader issue seems to have fixed itself upon restarting the game but that makes me wonder i wonder if the uh the shaders have to do with like a memory leak or something like maybe the game uh wrong way maybe the game runs too long and then upon running that's what starts happening because i can tell you right now i'm playing this game in like huge 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 chunks of time um let me see we're gonna take you off i love you but just you just don't do it for me uh what else do we want what else do we want there's really nothing else i need i guess heal flame cleanse me and then we could flame grant me strength why not just to, just to have it Try attacking. Try attacking. Try hitting Pat the head. See, that's the thing. That's how you know, because there's like all these messages. say out of every weapon I found this is the the first one that I'm like yeah I'm maxing this thing out this is this is the weapon I'm taking with me to the end uh, the scythe I want to also max out at some point because you know it's, it's gonna be gross for PvP but at the same time this isn't even like a big PvP build for me the, the fake build I mean I'm definitely doing I will do PvP on it Especially because it's going to be the, the first build I have that's done. Um, all right, now, they're, now they're just getting kind of obvious with it. It's actually really good tracking. And get back up here if I clear this all out. Yeah, I can. Uh, so I could take that ladder down to the very bottom. Oh shit, I don't know. Let me go, let's go clear this first. And then we'll clear that. Wait, what did he say? No giant sort ahead. Okay. Um. Um, bum, 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 bum.
another one. Alright, well this is going even deeper. This is probably where the boss is. Let's go back and do some item loops. I think this is just a thing from things that are exploding constantly. Yeah, it is. Shit. Oh, wait. They make a path? No. Oh, Have I? Did I? Ah, shit. May have made a mistake, y'all. Damn it. I took a gamble that this wasn't the path forward, and it was. So now we're gonna have to come back to get items. Guess the alternative is to just die, but wants to die. Oh, hello. Um. Be done. Return to the entrance. Or we can pop on out. And this is. Well, I'll be damned. It's the Divine Tower that I wanted to reach. That is actually pretty funny. I was like, how do I get to this damned tower? That tower's out in the middle of nowhere. Well, now we found it. Um, I might do that this episode, but I need to return. There's a lot of shit in here I didn't get. I mean, most of it is probably junk, let's be clear. It's probably just like... Blendstone scraps and other trash, but... But... I still want to cover it. I still want to know. Y'all know me, I can't, I can't leave items behind. The other thing is doing all of this now. Uh, you know, it's like I said, walkthrough... For the, the, for the walkthrough itself... Um, we're probably just gonna focus trophies, because there's- there's so much stuff in this game that if I was to do a, a you know, if I was to do, like, one of my traditional 100% walkthroughs, where we're covering, like, where to get every- every weapon, and every, you know, well, I don't know, if the- if the- if the trophy is for every weapon, then we're gonna get every weapon, but, you know, definitely if I was to do the- the kind where I'm like, Okay, you know, we're gonna swing left over here to get a life stone, and then we're gonna go on over here, and we're gonna pick up a soul item, and then you're gonna go over here for some moon shards. Like, there's no way. It would take... The, the walkthrough wouldn't be done until, like, next year. Which I'm still gonna do one, but I will say this Let's Play, I feel like I've done, um... I feel like I've been so... so thorough in, like, trying to hit everything that I think this Let's Play will definitely serve as a decent guide for folks 
until I've had the time to get the get the walkthrough up and running. I can't wait though. I, I haven't 100% decided, but there's a very real possibility that my main weapon for the walkthrough is going to be the Whirly Gig Saw. Because I'll tell you what, bleed feels real good in this game. Really good indeed. I mean, episode one of the walkthrough will be out by the time this episode airs, but I'm thinking. Uh, the first weapon we're going to pick up is going to be that the blade from the the first jail that we conquered. That curved sword with lead, I feel like that'll be a really solid choice to, even just with base stat investments, I feel like that'll carry people through for quite a substantial chunk of the game. Alright, 100% worth coming back because stone sword keys are not easy to come by. That's actually going to be my recommendation. That's another thing for the walkthrough is the starting item. I'm going to suggest people take stone sword keys just because, you know, having, having two of them at the start is just going to be nice because they're a pain in the ass to find and it'll be good just to have two. Because the other option is the seed, but I've already... I mean, I know, it's, so, it's not even know why I'm talking about this, because like I said, you'll have seen it by now, but... Um... Oh shit, fuck me. Uh... With the, uh... Play through the game I was doing... On... Oh shit, that might not work. That might be the boss stake. I don't know how many echoes I had. Oh god, echoes. It's all blending together. No, we're good. What a beautiful steak that was. Uh, but on... Sorry, when I was reviewing the... Playing the PS5 version to review it, I started kind of like testing out routes. Figure out like, you know, okay, what would be... What would be a good walkthrough route? And so I've already figured out... Uh, basically like a, a path of... You know, within 30 minutes you have enough seeds that you have max flasks for... Well, not max, but you know, you're, you're at the point where you would need two seeds to start upgrading your flasks more. You have a, uh, a sacred tier, so your flasks are stronger. You have the stamina talisman, you have the lantern, so you can see in the dark. It's... I think, I think episode one of the walkthrough is going to be probably one of my best episode ones ever. Because I have it lined up to just be like boom, 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 boom. Just really really set people off on an excellent start to the game. So, I'm really excited for that to, to happen. I haven't recorded that yet, obviously. I don't... I don't like recording. I mean, I can. Divine Tower of West Atlas. So are there two of these? Damn. I could start recording it, you know? But I gotta do... We haven't done the stream prep stuff yet. Uh, so let me check the rest of that road that I ignored before, and then we're gonna circle around the capital. I don't want to touch that yet. Maybe we'll go to Mount Gelmir. That's what I did with- I don't remember, because I know I started doing- I know I started making the walkthrough before I was done with all the prep work, and that's standard, but I want to say that I waited 
I think I finished the entire Let's Play first before I went into the walkthrough, just because I didn't want to have uh, two playthroughs going simultaneously. So my, my game plan is going to be once we start the prep streams, I'll be done this by then. Start the prep streams and then um, you know, start figuring out uh, ideal routes. Because that's the thing, it's going to be... Can't get that. It's gonna be so so unique, and it's impossible to really say like, you know, hey, this is the way. This is the way you beat the game. This is how you go about it. Because I mean, it's how do you how do you you know how do you decide that? How do you decide an open world game? And that's something I had problems with when I was considering how I wanted to do a walkthrough for this game. And I considered maybe not even doing one because you know, there is no right way to play an open world game. Go wherever the hell you want. Explore. Have a great time. Um, but I know people are going to want guidance, so more than a, like, traditional, this is what you do, this is how you play the game. It's going to be just kind of like a very, very narrated, guided experience through Elden Ring. Like, hey, here's some good shit, here's some good shit, here's some good shit. Here's the dungeons, you know, stuff like that. Bye. I like that that's just, just slightly angled enough that I can hit multiple enemies with it. Lore Ghost, what do you got for me? Head on up. It's another seed. I think I have two. I'll make that three. Oh, shit. start doing a lot more melee focused combat even though I don't have the stats for it I just want to really want to be comfortable enough so that it comes down to it and there's a situation where I can't I can't use my spells I feel like I can get through most fights with the sword the sword is, is very uh, substantial very beefy packs a punch good stagger good weapon art Split damage scaling, but not not the terrible kind. Right, so this is just a road. There's a church though over there. About that. This. That. That. Let me go try and hit the stuff I marked right here. Come on. Looks like a death fall. Alright, so one is out of the question, and four is out of the question. Let's get two and three instead.
like a church of plague. Those dogs did instantaneous bleed procs. Like, I didn't get to do anything. It was just, ah, bleed. That was terrifying. Sexy. I jumped his attack and then smacked him in the head. Sacred tear. Always good to get. Um, that's a whole nother region. That's Mount Gelid. Save that for a different time. We got another tower to do. I don't like this at all. My turn. Kayla's Lily. I think that's a rare crafting thing. Yeah. It's crazy how like there's so many things that I'm I'm finding, but I don't have uh I don't have like recipes to do anything with them. So this takes me back up there. I know, well, I'm gonna go do that tower that I had marked. What's this? Mirage Rise. What? Touch three phantom crests. Mirage Riddle. Okay. Um, so, riddle concerning a rise that vanishes like a mirage. Oh, that explains why it's gone. So there's one inside of the mirage. One by broken road slash bridge, and then one that's assuming this is oriented northeast of the first. Uh... 
no northwest. So like maybe one there. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if the mirage is right there, typically. Look at that again. I gotta go by the valley here. Look for the marks. So it looks like the tomb is... Is that a tomb icon? A church? There's a tomb. And then a road leading away. Uh, well, if it's oriented that way, it's there. If it's oriented that way, it's there. So let's just go to both of those and see what we find. I'm guessing these mirage things only appear when you're, like, on top of them. And that explains why it gave us a... Gave us a, a map to help. Okay, so we had one here. We had one here. One down, one there. Okay, so based on that picture, one down. Oh well, no, it's kind of not quite. No, yeah, they're close enough. Because the other one's like almost north of me. So then it should be like over there somewhere. Unless. No, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be it. Look at them real fast. Or let me get. I don't. I don't. I, I don't remember where I marked it. I didn't mark it exactly. That's off. It's right here. It's time for screenshots. Ah, oh, fuck it. The screenshot didn't take. Come on. There we go. Got it. Every now and again, I do that, it like fucks with OBS, so I'm always a little paranoid when I do it. Alright, so looking at the map. <clears throat> uh, so there's one that's near the very edge. Yep, 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 yep. I need to just rotate this. I need to rotate. I rotate in this fucking okay. Uh, so that one would be there, that one would be there, oh, yep, and it's right, I see, I see now. I didn't even notice this, but the last one is, uh, it's right over here. Because that's the broken road.
should be over here. Ah, I was slightly off. It's down this way. I was like, here's the road. So it's over that way. I just, I marked the wrong spot. I was like, I know this is the spot. Wait a minute. What is this glow I see? Let's hit the grace while we're here. Probably good because I got a lot of a lot of stuff to spend. Seven extra health. Should probably get my stamina a little higher, but I don't feel like I need it. I've definitely gotten more comfortable with uh, more comfortable with less stamina in Souls games as time has gone on. Oh boy, I do not. You know what? I can do this. Gotta love it. But I didn't fucking get anything, dude. What? Hang on, let me try and reset that. I think that's bullshit. Game fucking cheating. I can't I hate shit like this, dude. The game knew that those things were gonna be dead, and so instead it's just like, oh well. D no, wait, what? There's nothing there, bro. It just bugged. They're probably guarding like a death spell or something too. That's whack. I really need to fix bugs up. Like, it's it's getting to the point where... Like, I'm getting bugs that are just, like, actively hurting my experience. And it's it's genuinely upsetting. Oh, rune. A rune beetle. Cool, let me kill it. I'll probably get something badass. Actually, it's just not gonna spawn the loot. What? The fuck? Had that happen, we had the early dragon just despawn on us. We've had uh, the two mausoleums that we got locked out of. And those are all like, those are like big loot centric bugs. Unseen blade, unseen forms, visibility bullshit. And it's five slumbering eggs. Uh, well, I think we're done here. Let's let's wrap. Um, next episode, we'll hit up this Erd tree and check out that tunnel. Yeah, those look like they'll they'll do enough for an episode. And then if I still have time after, I can 
run on up and try to knock out this stuff. So, I'll catch you on a bit.